Donald Trump has just signed a bill authorizing $19.5 billion in funding to NASA for the next fiscal year. Wow, that is a lot of money. How great. And upon the occasion, Donald Trump had this to say. Uh, For almost six decades, NASA's work has inspired millions and millions of Americans to imagine distant worlds and a better future right here on Earth. I'm delighted to sign this bill. It's been a long time since a bill like this has been signed, reaffirming our commitment to the core mission of NASA, human space exploration, space science, and technology. Man, maybe Trump really is interested in science after all, and he isn't just a habitual liar, sexual predator, Russian puppet. Uh, This is something that people from all political backgrounds can really get behind, right? Uh, Not so fast. Let's take a couple of steps back. First of all, this is pretty much exactly the same budget amount that NASA had last year. And if you account for inflation, it's actually slightly less. Second of all, Congress critters like Ted Cruz are rushing to pat Trump on the back for this, when in fact, they're the reason why, according to Trump, a bill like this hasn't been passed in a long time, because they spent the last eight years getting in the way of anything Obama tried to pass in the way of science funding. But now they're happy to do it because it makes Trump look good. There's one other reason why they're happy to do it now compared to when Obama was in office, and that is because the new budget doesn't contain any directive for NASA to study climate science here on Earth. That's right, as a reminder, global warming is currently the greatest threat to humanity we face, and also as a reminder, Donald Trump thinks that it's a Chinese conspiracy. And so, for his new budget, He has completely removed it, and NASA is no longer expected to do any climate research. You might think that that's not such a big deal because we still have NOAA. Uh, It's NOAA's job almost exclusively to study oceanographic and atmospheric problems with the planet. But the problem with that is that NOAA's budget is currently facing a 17% budget cut thanks to Trump. So that sucks. Also, there's the fact that studying the Earth's climate is how NASA is better able to study the atmospheres of other planets. We're not on Mars yet in any real sense. So a lot of the data we have is going to come from the Earth. That's what a lot of our speculation about other planets comes from, is what we understand here on Earth. Studying the Earth's climate is crucial, not just to the future of humanity, but to NASA's actual mission. Here's another issue with Trump's budget. It directs NASA to pursue human travel to Mars, not just studying Mars, but actually sending people there. And there's a lot of debate in the scientific community as to whether or not there's any real benefit to sending people to Mars as opposed to just sending better robotics that can go there and do everything people can do but better and without the terrible risk of loss of life. Uh, And yes, we might eventually need to figure out how to get humans to Mars, um, especially if we destroy this planet because we're ignoring global warming. But right now, it's way easier and way more informative to use robots. So yeah, I'm sorry if you were counting on this news to give you hope that Trump isn't the absolute worst. You know what? Actually, I'm not sorry. You need to know and remember that he's the absolute worst and we need to keep fighting.